make some tater tot casserole. And I get it, there's so many different ways to make tater tot casserole, but this is the easiest way I have found. And it's not that expensive. So, let me stop yapping and let's get cooking. All right. All right, guys, so what you need to do first is preheat your oven to 350. And then you need a very large bowl, okay? So I diced up a medium onion and a little tiny one because it's medium, I had a small, so it is about a medium. Chopped up. Then I have a can of cream of mushroom soup, any kind you like. It sounds so gross. Coming out, ew. But um, it's one can of cream of mushroom. A half a cup of milk. This is half and half or um, anything of that. In there. Then we're going to season it with a teaspoon of pepper, teaspoon of salt, then a teaspoon of garlic powder. Then I already cooked up one and a half pounds of ground beef. And, and I mix all this first. Then, before I add tater tots, I'm going to add at least um, a cup and a half of shredded Colby Jack cheese. You could use cheddar cheese. Um, you could use pepper jack cheese, whatever cheese you like and have on hand. I never tried it with mozzarella, so, but any of those cheese are fine. And then you mix it. Then we add our star of the recipe. This is a 32 ounce bag of tater tots, and I'm gonna add up the whole bag. This is why you need a big bowl. Now some people do it nice and neat, it's just, I like to just stir and toss in the casserole for the pan. Well, mine's a glass pan. Need a bigger bowl. Then I get my pan and I already sprayed it and I I'm gonna just dump it in gently. Some people take the time to do their tater tots and rows and but when you got kids and you got a family and stuff you don't really have time for that you need to put it in the oven and get cook cooking with the other things you need to do i just kind of press it down okay like so then i take my other cup or cup and a half of cheese and I just sprinkle it on top. Now this goes in the oven for about 30 to 45 minutes. You just wanna make sure the center is um, done. You'll see bubbling around and you want to make sure the tater tots are done and nobody likes frozen tater tots so like i said 30 to 45 minutes all right guys it's been about 45 minutes and notice how all the edges is all bubbly 
and the cheese is melted and it's nice golden brown and then you'll I mean it's really enjoyable so thank you for coming with me and cooking with me I hope you'll have a wonderful day and remember you want more just subscribe and like my video and we'll get to cooking together soon all right bye guys toodaloo